Not much scoring going on. Yeah, but he knows making contacts means he's going to get tired. Both guys land counter shots. Both guys think they have his time. As he comes off the ropes, Eastman can at the same time. Left hook by Hopkins. And a big left hook. Eastman with... Great left hand. He's working perfect for him. Anytime he's working off the jab, now he's looking terrific. Just like he did right then. Takes a soft right that? hand, returns a hard right hand, hits Eastman with his best right hand. That one shot. That's why he's having a problem. Two little left hooks inside for Eastman, and a third left hook lands for Eastman. Hopkins smiles and shakes his head as if to say he didn't hurt me, and Eastman hits him with the best right hand he's landed all night. That was a good right hand. That right hand may have damaged Bernard. And he walks left. left hook lead for Hopkins. Drives Eastman back into the ropes. Lands the left hook again, does Bernard. And to the body. And flurries inside. That's what it appears It's not to easy to do. No, it's not. Especially against Bernard Hopkins. Big left hook for Hopkins after Eastman. Hard right hand by Hopkins. Stun Even for Hopkins. Oh, good watching him, where he's doing him no good, and that's why he's getting caught the left hook. He's going to be able to pull nothing off here. Maybe tomorrow somebody will tell him that you got caught with that same left hook over and over and over again. That's why you're not champion today. And when he does get ready for the left hook, Bernard bounces, faints a little like that, and sneaks the left hand, the right hand over. And every time he comes in, Bernard just bad back hooking just like Perfect that. Perfect left hook right on the jaw. Just like that all night long. The crowd now understands that they're probably looking at a 12-round Bernard Hopkins decision, which is the norm. I wouldn't count out the fact that he every single time, and he is. Oh, what a great left hook. Bernard Hopkins in the last four or five rounds has thrown some of to the winner by unanimous decision and still undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Bernard the Executioner.